I find it very interesting when people in the comments section point out that Ukraine's advance into the Kursk region makes no military sense at all. And then I look on the news sites and I find that Maria Zakharova, the Ministry of Defence, the Russian Ministry of Defence, has used exactly the same expression. So once again, people say to me, oh, look, the Russian trolls are out in force on your site. Yes, they are. The problem is it's sometimes very difficult to identify them and it's equally difficult to get rid of them. Uh, because unless they're saying something particularly offensive, uh, they, they may well be saying things I don't agree with. They may well be putting forward Russian propaganda that I don't agree with. But it's very difficult to get rid of them. You can hide them from the channel, they come back. So I personally, I would prefer to see what sort of rubbish they're circulating because actually it gives me an idea about what's going to appear on the news shortly. So please bear with me when these um, trolls come out with lines like this because they are revealed, they are exposed, and it's quite interesting. Uh, but, you know, Maria Zakharova is wrong. This does give Ukraine a military uh, advantage. I'm not sure how long it does, and I'm not sure whether um, they fully factored in the viciousness of the attack that might um, result uh, and the severity and the size of the attack that might result um, and the scope. And I don't want to go any further than that, really. Uh, but I think this does change the, the nature of the war. Uh, and Zelensky is right that the until Russians recognize how much this hurts, they won't recognize how much it hurts. And for many Russians inured by the suppression of real free media uh, and the constant relay of propaganda. Believe me, I know about this because I used to live there. And even at a time when there wasn't a war, there were there were certainly the rumblings of propaganda and there was certainly the right thing and the wrong thing to say in public. And I remember a person in my university who was sum summarily dismissed for publicly criticizing Mr. Putin, which I think was a foolish thing to have done. I did it in private. And uh, I did it in, incidentally on my blog, even while I was in Russia, but I would never have done it in a classroom or in a lecture theater. And I met a number of Russian, senior Russian uh, statesmen, politicians, uh, leaders, some of whom tried their business on me and assumed that because I was in Russia I would approve of their goings-on. I didn't, uh, and I was quite happy to say so. I now wonder, frankly, uh, I, I have such a clear line of what is right and what is wrong and such an inability to actually hold my mouth sometimes that, that I think maybe maybe there must be something... Uh, that, that, that I'm not um, that, that I'm not aware of and uh, and I think what is it that what is it that um, that, 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 that drives me to to um, to say things which are really quite imprudent but equally I have learned how to keep my mouth shut and that's something these Russian trolls really have not done but then their only purpose is to cause crisis um, a crisis is about a decision, so I hope they're prepared to take one. And the decision is coming when really they need to, they need to quit their country and quit their allegiance to a mad and dead um, leader. As there is no doubt. Putin is no more. Uh, you, you can talk metaphorically. You can say, well, Putin 
abandoned life, abandoned humanity years ago, absolutely. But you can also say you know, th there's pretty good evidence that Putin, the, the Putin of the past, is no longer alive. And it's in the Mos it's in the Kremlin's interest to keep alive the image of this tough tyrant because there isn't an alternative. And those who want to call out the nonsense find themselves sidelined and uh, assassinated. Putin has long been incapable, but that doesn't mean Putinism is non-existent. The Putin we see today may well be a doppelganger, but he is the same Putin that we saw for the last 10 years. He is a figurehead for a particular group. And various groups in the Kremlin have battled to keep control of Putin. And this particular group has had control for a very long time. It's belligerent. It's offensive rather than um, compliant and diplomatic. And it believes in power. It also believes in wealth for itself. At whatever cost and keeping it. So uh, Alexei Navalny was quite right. Putin's acquisitive, stealthy, evil and duplicity and criminal activity, of course, but that runs all the way through this particular group. There is nothing that marks Putin out as special except that he's dead.